So your paper now see you have it has a series of little roofs here and here and here and here and offset here and here and here. There, there and there and there. And it's also got long lines. That's the main rule is that the long lines need to remain in a valley, so down, so push them down, those long lines, that's one of your long lines. So that remains down, okay? The diagonals are in in hills and the long lines are in valleys. So wherever you see tension, you, you start to poke it out. Turn it around so that it's perpendicular to the way that you coloured it and start to push together and you'll see the little series of roofs beginning to actually appear and then little areas where you have to uh, still poke your long lines down. So keep going with that. See how a little bit of tension is coming here? That's a long line that has to be poked down. Turn it around, keep going. You'll see here, here's a little problem. This one keeps poking up. So I'm just going to force it down. Start to crush in. You'll see that each of the little roofs, for instance here, this roof, is going to intersect with the halfway point of the roof next door on top of it. So that's how the pattern needs to go. So you need to keep following that pattern, crushing together until you get the pattern continuous. Here's a little problem because this is folded over. So I'm just going to release it and encourage it in. What you will find is that you have issues where the lines are going up where they should be down. For instance, here, this, this point here needs to go down. So I'm poking that down and then, whoops, it's a little tricky. And then underneath, this line here needs to come up. So I'm going to push my fingers underneath and encourage that up. It's still putting that one down. Your paper gets a bit soft. It's still doing it. So it's still a problem. So I'm going to push it down and I'm going to fold the one next to it in. And there's also a problem in there because this line here needs to come up. So push your fingers under it and pull it up. There we go. This one too. So the most common problems occur when you have something like this occurring over here. This area here. What is going on? Well, release the paper, fold it out a bit so you can see what's going on. For instance, this line here, which is hard to see, this line needs to come up. So I'm going underneath it, I'm going to push it up so that it's a hill, and then I'm going to push the one next to it down so it's a valley. I'm just going to keep pushing in. Keep pushing until your pattern starts to form. Keep going. Now here there's a problem as well. There's a problem just here. That's because this line here is part of a little roof and it needs to come up. So I go underneath it and push it up with my fingers. Just pushing it up. Just encouraging it in. And then it will start to work like magic. So basically you have to remember that all of your diagonals are roofs and all those long lines actually are valleys and they start to intersect with one another. So once you've got the pattern forming, you can squash it in. You'll see on the side of your, your page, you're beginning to form a little mountain range. And what happens often is you have this sort of situation occurring where there's something going in the wrong direction. This one. So release it. Have a look at what's going on. This is going in the wrong direction. That has to fold down. Fold it back in. So what you have here is Now, a series of mountain ranges. Again, there's something wrong up this end. This one's going down. Okay? Once you've got your little mountain ranges, give it a good press. Down it goes. 